Oh, friggin' rice boys. Just finishing up on uh, the axle. The axle McSigurd on the 83 today. Hopefully we can take it for a rip. It's a nice sunny day. Still snow on the ground relentless, but the roads are dry. But, uh, yeah. Let's order a new Marmadinker. For frig sack. But, I don't know. I'm not going to drive it in the wet and different things. But, yeah, these... Uh, Really, really friggin' tried driving out uh, a lot of the old grease because there's water and a lot of stuff, so that's really, really good. Like, really good. Piss beer is here, I'd make them look it for a movie. But, uh, yeah, no go. But, yeah, just giving her a grease and a stove pipe. We got the blakes blooded last night and just giving her a torque on the, uh, on the cigarette bolts there. Uh, three things. Where's my rag? Ah. Uh, Three things that happened yesterday was uh, oh bleeding the brakes. We got like three eighths and ten mil, son of a bitches. But uh, yeah, so there's my three eighths jammed right on there. I'll try to get that uh, off today. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's just where it lives. But I also need to work out some sort of uh, you know the top one should work. I should be able to get the top one working, but the bottom one no work. So that's no freaking good, and it's just way too long, so I'll have to use some zip times and just keep that up out of the words of the out of the relentless for a quick minute. Put a axle vent on there, probably should crack that open and drain some of the water out of it, eh? At least at least some. But that this is a good tip. Tip from Pug One, you always want to make sure that uh you know, we didn't do this, it was already like that, but you want to make sure that your freaking greasing arse coal and your stove pipe there is in accordance to where you got to take it off to uh, to grease it. That's the best. If you add it into the 180 factor, you could just get it without getting on with a wrench, but uh, yeah, we don't do that here at Little Cousins, you know that. But yeah, boys, I just seen the uh, the spittle pissing out of the, uh, the L joint there, so I figure catch it on a movie, you know what I mean? My good one, my squizzit even. But uh, yeah, we'll get these friggin' uh, L friggin' bolts tightened down here and give the brakes a quick test. I mean, I bled them last night, but just like of the old crack until she pisses type, type bleed, right? So, hmm. Yeah, torque down the, uh, the wheel mixigators too. These, these ones are just uh, just sitting there. We'll just drive it like this for now. Put the other, put the aluminum ones on, I guess. I don't know. Take the metal ones off, put the aluminum ones on until we get the fenders on and make it a dually. <gasps> eh? But, any words. The wiring really cleaned up nice, didn't it? Should have got you to crack them yesterday. Hey, should have yeah. got you to just crack them. Smack the goof. Holy! Definitely got to turn down the idle. Holy suffer! What am I gonna do, boys? We got the room for activities. Oh my goodness! Let's find another project. Hey. My, my whopping just grind the end of it off. Well, I think a good test run will be go and get the mail. I'm 
picture is not uh, accurate, I don't think. Fun. Really bad. Oh, and I got a little bit of the back huge. Nuts. Nuts for throttle linkages. Quarter twenty eight. Oh, the sir. here. Well, boys, so far it's so good, eh? Probably only two 700 uh, more 83 videos coming at you big time from the YouTube TV, eh? Big my part, but uh, yeah, didn't do too bad. These peony, I'll probably just go, you know, take a wrench and go over a little bit here and there. I still got it. There's still bits are still a little bit soft. First time I went out, pretty friggin' soft. Uh, this this one right here it won't uh, it won't bleed though I don't know what the fuck problem is so and just a little bit of take the fucking bleeder right out and just a little bit of fluid comes out of it so need to get a new bleeder anywhere so I'll just get, grab a pack of them or something probably and uh, call her a cigarette but uh, yeah I'll just go over the drive shifts make sure all the bolts are tight there this and that tomorrow's big pig iron strapaganza sales and I want to pick up a uh, one and an eighth friggin' impact socket for my for my uh, lug nuts there. My no got the only eighth and eighth socket I got's a short one, so it'll do the fronts, but it won't do the the backs. I mean, I'm sure once I get the outer rims on there, but that's another thing. I'm gonna go uh, 
prepare the friggin' fendures for the application, and then we'll take the template uh, from the truck outside, and we'll just do the old how you doing tech, and uh, put the dually, man, that's gonna be awesome. Eh? Should I try to match the friggin' color, or should I just leave the friggin' dually fenders black, or what do you think? What do you friggin' think? All I friggin' know is this is awesome. Like, this is friggin' awesome. It's like driving a brick, though. Okay, the, the, old, uh, the old springs there, they, they were a lot softer than these, uh, than these heavier duty ones. That's for friggin' sure as shit, but come on, good weather. Hey, okay? friggin' right. I got my eyes on, uh, on the next project there. You guys are gonna chit your pants, but that'll be for another dirds. But uh, for to dirds, for color a cigarette. Other than that, let me know what you think about the friggin' dirty right in old friggin' 83. Yeah, we did. We friggin' did it. We did it, almost. Still got, you know, fenders and a couple things. And, but we can friggin' drive her, boys. Hey, can you friggin' believe that? Oh my goodness gracious, but. Any words, I would have finger fudged you on that like button in accordance. A couple bitches from earlier in the week, but uh, I don't know where you're going to go another dick about I hope the waters get you.